These palm oil nuts are grown without the use of chemicals. The oil is extracted using steam and pressure. The Colombian company Darbon produces some 25,000 tons each year, all sustainably. That's still rare in Colombia. Alfonso Davio Abondano from Darbon says once you've achieved a perfect environmental balance, production becomes more economical because you don't need insecticides or pesticides or fungicides. Harvesting isn't mechanized, it's done painstakingly by hand, which helps protect the palm trees. The palm nuts grow at a height of up to 11 meters. They're transported by buffalo-drawn carts. The aim is to farm in sync with nature. Felipe Guerrero explains how they do it. Darbon leaves the natural undergrowth untouched. He says that allows the ground to retain moisture better. The company make the palm nut husks into compost, which serves as an ideal natural fertilizer. Around 9% of the plantation is left untouched, acting as a conservation area for local plants and animals. Many small farmers near Arakataka also produce sustainable palm oil. They sell their palm nuts to the Darbon company for further processing. Many say they've learned to value their environment. This farmer says they've developed an awareness of environmental protection. They've changed many cultivation methods too, and that's led to economic as well as environmental benefits. Now we're closer to nature, she says. A few hundred kilometers away in the Orinoco Basin, this huge wetland in Colombia has largely remained untouched by agriculture. But in recent years, palm oil producers have been making inroads. The Colombian government wants to develop the region, but it faces resistance from climate protection activists. Sofia Alejandra Rincon from the WWF organization says experts are mapping places that need protecting. She says the idea is to gather and combine all this information and to find out which areas should not be used for biofuel plantations. The findings serve as recommendations for the Colombian government to protect the environment as well as the global climate.